Hi there, I'm John from CNCRI.com and today we're going to laser engrave a stove top cover out of solid pine. For this pine stove cover, as you can see, it's solid pine, 3 quarter inch. It measures roughly 900 millimeters by 500 millimeters, or if you're in inches, 36 by 20. When it comes to your design options, they're totally limitless. In this case here, we have a flowery border at the top and the bottom with the name. But if you wanted something totally different, even a different shape, we can totally do that for you here at cncri.com. Now what we're going to do is go over the whole plate again. And the reason for that is to create a little bit more depth and also to create a little bit more contrast. Now when the laser works, you got to think of the beam as an exaggerated like this here. And this here is actually where the laser engraving and darkening, in this case here, making charcoal happens. Now the first pass I always go to maximum engraving that I can achieve. Then the second pass I actually move it so that the cone is wider. So instead of engraving down here, I engrave, let's say, midway up. And when that causes to, to happen is the beam gets wider, and as a result it darkens more than it engraves. And that's why when you see go over the material again, you'll see a little bit of a darkening band all the way down.
it's obvious when you look at the laser engraving happening that there's no mask over the pine. The reason for that is the design is not all that complex, so it's actually easier just to sand it after the work is finished. The darkening that you see here and that used to be over the surface as well is actually just resins and a little bit of soot from the laser engraving process that goes back onto the surface. Sometimes it sticks to it, sometimes it doesn't. But in this case here with three quarter inch pine, there's no problem at all sanding it. If this was made, let's say out of oak or walnut or a very, very high resin uh, wood, then definitely I would mask it because removing it with a sander is a lot of work. For this project here, I already had the board the exact size that I needed it for the customer's spec. But let's say you wanted a board a little bit larger or smaller or different shape, let's say the shape of a cloud, shape of a rocket ship, shape of whatever you want. We also have a full sheet CNC router, which can just as easily cut out any kind of shape you want. And then we can even do the carving with the CNC router or the laser engraving with obviously the laser behind me here. We also had the water jet capability, which means that if you wanted the stove top like this here to be made out of uh, stainless steel we can do that too now obviously as soon as we go into steel things get more expensive but that is an option at least available to you another option if you wanted to stay on a budget would be actually to have us make a stencil either, either out of paper polycarbonate or even out of plywood it doesn't really matter and what you do is you put the stencil we would make for you over the surface here and then you spray paint away or whatever kind of uh, agent you want to use to create the contrast. The nice thing about the stencil idea is if you have, let's say, a hundred of these things to do and they all have the same branding, we can actually make the stencil for you out of steel and then you actually use a flamethrower over it to make the darkening. And you can see a little bit of that right here. That's how I did that. So it depends again on your volume, what your budget is, what we can do for your stovetop cover. But whatever options you want, Contact me at cncri.com and we'll make it for you.